What's going on guys? Well watch us back again with another video for you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening. I said in my recent videos I have not been uploading as much simply because I'm focused on Ramadan, about seven to eight days to go before Eid, of course, working from home. And behind the scenes, I'm working on the future of this channel. I want to take it to the next level. As you can see, a new background that will be the permanent background, a few texts, a few images, hopefully more insight. To what I'm speaking about so you guys understand a lot more let me know in the comments below if you like this I thought I can bring out when I do analysis on Chelsea topics and when you know I do comparison videos between two players and I thought today was a good time to try it Georgina and Pjanic the reports that come out yesterday of course and general Chelsea gossip transfer in the last 24 hours so if you join my content help me out by liking this video subscribe if you're new here and hit the bell notification to stay with you watch else like I say in all my videos please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about you can see on the bottom right already stats between the two players but recent reports had come out saying that Chelsea and Juventus have opened talks on a swap deal between Pjanic and Jorginho and for me before I even get into any of it it's a straight no I just want to say the agent the player have said they're happy at Chelsea his vice captain is proving the Premier League nothing against Pjanic 30 years old though Jorginho is 28 um Julian has proven the Premier League has played for at least two years now. You know, we don't know what we're going to get Pjanic. For me, he's more of a technical player uh, rather than hard-working, someone that you can rely on in the team. So it doesn't really make sense. And I feel like even if Jorginho was to go for the right money, we have the right people that can take his position. We've got Billy Gulmo, we've got Kante, we've got Kovacic. We've got a lot in midfield, which is why I'm against the deal 100%. But as you can see in the bottom right, we have the stats between the two players this season um, per 90 minutes of course in um Giorgino in tackles has 2.59 whilst Pjanic has only just under two on 1.97 when we look at interceptions Giorgino makes more with 2.54 whilst Pjanic only makes 1.4 these are big differences from two similar type of players that will do the same job kind of in the same way I get it Sari loves Giorgino he wants Giorgino doing him at the third club in a row but you know when you read these stats when you look at more recoveries you know Giorgino makes way more 9.55 Pjanic only makes just under seven you know influential Giorgino's vice captain he leads Chelsea many ways if Asby doesn't Giorgino is there which is why we definitely need him um total jewels won Giorgino just under five per game Pjanic has 4.25 Offensively, Giorgino plays more, 18.66, and Pjanic just under 18. Big chances, Giorgino makes more, um, and Pjanic doesn't really create that much, 0 0.05. Goal contribution, Giorgino just, to, just about wins with uh, just a small amount. But regardless, when you look at these stats, everything ticks in favour of Giorgino. And Premier League is a lot harder than Italian League. Italian League, you get a lot of space. You know, you can take your time. You can take that extra second. In the Premier League, you get hunted down. Everyone looks to Giorgino because he's going to create that play, which is why it's so much more difficult for Chelsea in general. Um, but like I said, for me, it's a no. It doesn't really make sense. I think, you know, Lampard wouldn't be even interested in the move. I think age, we're trying to avoid bringing old players for the long term. I get a short term if they're free. Fair enough, Mertens makes sense, Angel Gomez is very young for the future, but it really wouldn't make sense for this deal to happen. If we were to sell Jorginho, it has to be for big money, where we can use that money elsewhere for like a Sancho, that big sign and that Chelsea fans want to see. So hopefully, you know, you guys can see the stats on the bottom right, you guys, you know, see how important Jorginho is to this Chelsea squad, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch, he does a lot for this team. He's come through a lot, you know, a lot of booing in the first season because of Sari's son, which I think was still wrong. But from that, he's just shown his mentality. He's up there. When you look at comparing it to Morata, you see a big difference, don't you? So hopefully you guys enjoyed that comparison. Hopefully you, you agree with me. Let me know if you don't. Let me know if you want to see Pjanic at Chelsea and why. The next topic I want to speak about is from ESPN. They've come out recently saying Lampard isn't even interested in Pjanic if this deal was to happen. We know Sari wants Georgina more. That is normal, but it doesn't mean Chelsea have to sell. If you want Jorginho, pay that money. Chelsea want to sell a lot of the players this season. However, they want to resist selling Kante, Jorginho. But they want to get that money in to help spend around in different positions that we need. 
Ben Chilwell is still our number one left back target according to ESPN. Um, and also Dembele, the striker, is also our preferred option. Not Victor that we're hearing from other reporters. Very, very confusing because, you know, we're reading left, right, centre, different reports from different countries. Who do we believe? ESPN have got ZH right, which is why it's very, you know, careful. That's why I listen to these guys a lot more because they're getting these type of deals right. No one knew about ZH. But ESPN said Ziyech and also Chilwell will be our next signings in, back in January. So for me, everyone's talking about Sancho, everyone's talking about Werner. Yes, ESPN have also said Chelsea are keeping eyes on Werner and Aubameyang. But Dembele is still number one. And I think, like I said, I think Dembele out of the strikers isn't a bad striker. But isn't our target that we should be looking at for the next level. But for value-wise, it makes sense for about 35 to £40 million. Pounds. So... Let me know in the comments below what you think about these players. Angel Gomez, United are relaxed on the situation. But Dortmund, Barca, Chelsea want this player. There's something about this player that, you know, he's free. Risk free. If it goes wrong, you can sell him. And also, news on Boga, we don't want to buy back uh, clause. We don't want to, like, um, what's the word? Launch it. Is launch it the right word? Activate it. Look, I can't think properly on, on this video, man, but... Yeah, it doesn't really make sense because it's about 12 million. Why would you not sign the player? But, you know, Chelsea know best. I've got some very, very big news right now. Atletico called Marino. Try to say, you know, we can't pay this 48 million for Marino right now. You know what Marino said? You better pay that money. We want that money right now. So, for now, the news is still going ahead. The deal is still going ahead. The money is still coming ahead. And i got other big news. Bakayoko. We're in talks with PSG about £31 million. £31 million for Bakayoko. I rooted for this guy so hard. Yeah. That we're still making money back on this player that let us down so much. The mentality with him and Murata. I don't know how we're getting this type of money. But well done to Marina, man. This one's a businesswoman. She's... She's very good, man. She's very good. Honestly, well done on Murata. Of course, Bakayoko is still in talks. But if we get any type of money, it is a masterclass. And that money can be used elsewhere in the squad that can help us go to the next level. So, those are your main topics. Um, and Chelsea, in general, have provided more free meals for the NHS and the charities that help the old people. We've taken it to 115,520. Amazing. But you won't hear the media speak about it too much, would you? No. It's our job to share it out, though. Because Chelsea talk about it on Twitter and on the Instagram. But we need to push it out even more. Chelsea fans, you know what to do. Go share it out. Also, the government has said football will be returning on the 1st of June. Players have already returned back for training. Uh, Marini wants to get it going. If not, stay at home and watch the Bundesliga. Bundesliga is starting this weekend, of course. Um, I don't know who I'll be supporting, whether it's Dortmund, Red Bulls. There are many good teams in that league that I'll be you know, watching, of course. Hopefully, you guys watch that as well. Um, but the Premier League return will be very interesting. For me, it's a way of getting Liverpool to win the title. I think that's what they really want more than anything else. I think they want to gift Liverpool that title. Uh, mathematically they've not done it so if they play one or two more games and they say oh look it's getting worse now we have to cancel it but finish the teams where they are finished because they'll say to the clubs you know you've got two games to prove yourself you can get into these positions maybe top four Chelsea tick all boxes regardless of whatever rules we're going to we've been fourth all season we've carried a position United have not caught us or anything they're closer to the bottom half than, than to us um and we're in the Champions League already. We're in the Europa League. Everything ticks for Chelsea. We shouldn't be worried about anything. You know, other clubs should be worried in general. But, you know, it's going to be a very, very interesting couple of weeks ahead for the Premier League. Um, You know, as soon as we get more updates, I'll be doing more videos. But, like I said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. Hopefully, you know, I can take it to the next level. Let me know if you want to see this more often on this channel, yeah. But, yeah, guys, make sure you like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification to see what you want Chelsea can say in all my videos. Please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. I really, really appreciate everyone that watches this video. And let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts. Well, watch else, guys. I'm out.